Hi everyone, I wanted to share a sketchbook project I did recently. And this is, I decided to use a piece of this Swedish, Swedish tracing paper, it's a mouthful, that I had painted some acrylic gouache on. And I liked the color, so I thought, oh, I'll put it in my sketchbook. So here I'm using matte medium and a credit card to make it nice and smooth and put it in there. And then I had to decide what I wanted to do. So I picked an animal book that I really liked, the Animal Atlas, and I found a wildebeest or a wildebeest. I guess it depends like you say tomato or tomato. And it kind of looked like his shape. So I went in with a pencil and drew out a very quick um, sort of outline just to get a feeling for it. There's his eyeball. Anyway, I love their manes. They have this like wild mane hairdo. And I wanted to make his eye a little bigger and color in his nose so I had an idea of everything. And then I thought I'd just run the line off the color to give it a little more visual interest on the page. And then I wrote down the name Wildebeest or Wildebeest. And those are pre-mixed acrylic gouache I have. So I'm opening them up to mix some colors. And I was gonna go in and I wanna lighten up some of the areas. And there I'm adding color to his horns. And I'm going back on his face. That khaki seemed a little green, the color. So I'm warming it up a bit. And then I'm making a gray, kind of add some shading on his face and then his mane. I want to go in and add that color in there. This Swedish tracing paper with the paint on it takes color really well. It's got a great texture to it. There I'm going in and lightening it up a little bit. And there I'm making a quick note so down the road when I forget what I did, I'm writing down Swedish tracing paper with acrylic gouache on it and that's a piece of the blank paper. And then I just kind of keep going along here and adding detailing with paint. There I've got the white and I'm lightening that up a little bit. A lot of lids screwing on and off there. Then I decided to stamp a pattern in the background. I kind of forgot to video part of it. So I carved a heart shape, I mean, excuse me, star shape, and then I'm cutting it out so it just prints the actual shape of the stamp very carefully using an X-Acto knife. I like my fingers. And there's the shape and I'm just taking paint and testing how it looks. Again, the acrylic gouache on a blank piece of paper, adding a little white, make it stand out a little more. There we go, let's test her out. And then, a big moment to put the stars in the background around the wildebeest. And it's stamped really well too, that texture on that paper. And it had a fun little final detail. The last thing is to add a note about what I did. One thing is um, I wrote a note, just add it's a good idea to add an odd number of stars, and I signed it, and here's the final piece in my sketchbook.